Hello everyone, and welcome back to DMG. I got a tiny, adorable little package in the form of this Microsoft Bluetooth mouse. Now, I, I would say that I really love that they're being environmentally friendly with the packaging. If it hadn't come in this box, like, look how much space there is. You could easily fit one, two, three, and could you fit six, four? You could easily fit five of these mice into this box. Now that's the same box when I bought the HyperX Pulsefire Core from the Microsoft Store. That's the same box that got shipped in, so I, uh, I've also bought flash drives from Microsoft and they come in that same box. So I think they literally bought like 10,000 of one box, and that's all they use. But yeah, I bought this with Microsoft Rewards Points because it looked interesting. And, uh, you know, I, I like the idea of it. It's, it's a mouse, what else can I say? It looks like it has the design of the Mobile Mouse 1850, which uh, I actually have back at my parents' house, not currently with me, but I do like that design. So, uh, yeah, let's get it open. You've got very simple, you know, clean-looking packaging, which is good. Wait, is this like a peel-up? Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's a little slide-out! This is actually a better unboxing experience than I thought it would be. Pretty cool cloth bag. Yeah, this feels exactly like the Mobile Mouse 1850. I'm pretty sure they used almost the same plastic mold because the bottom looks exactly the same. I think the laser was a bit different on the Mobile Mouse 1850 and that was a switch on it. And this one, yeah, it takes a double A as well. I'm not gonna, not gonna unleash its power yet. Anyway, uh, we'll take a look at all the documentation. Just registration for like all the stuff. Telling you how to use a mouse in every language ever known and uh, how to not get carpal tunnel. Okay. So that's pretty much it. I think this is the like, yeah, it's the black version, as you can pretty clearly see. Now this is a pretty cheap mouse, it's only like $20. It, it really well, well actually now seeing it close up, it doesn't really match this keyboard on the top, only on the side. That looks like the same color. It matched a bit better in the picture they had, but yeah, this is the Microsoft Bluetooth keyboard. So this seemed like a good combo for, you know, watching media, media viewing, as I like to do, uh, because I don't have to, like, get up and go to my desk when I need to use the mouse, because whenever I've been watching something in bed, I don't take a laptop because my room is so small, I can just lie down and see my monitor. So I, I just bring a keyboard, but of course you can't do everything in a modern OS with a keyboard. This isn't 1992 anymore. So, um, you know, needless to say, this will be quite convenient, and it's nice that it was completely free for me. I just want to note again how small it is compared to, like, other mice. Here's more of your normal size mouse, the Pulsefire Core, and this is a ridiculously oversized, heavy, massive mouse. And of course this is just very small. And it's like, it, it could fit inside a hard drive. Like that's, that's, that's a size. In fact, is this my new hard drive storage box? Oh, that's actually kind of cool. It's just the right size to stand them up. This, okay, this is actually my favorite feature of the mouse, the box. I can make a joke about cats, mice, boxes. I feel like I'm going to break it getting it out. Okay, let's get off this tangent.
Oh, Microsoft Bluetooth mouse, it's right here. Or not. Oh, okay, here we go. So now it's now it works. It's got a very decent tracking speed. Uh, a bit slower than the HyperX. It feels decent. It actually slides a bit slower than I would like it to. Now, I think it's just this really... Okay, yeah, it's just the really gritty old mouse pad that I've had for like four years. It doesn't move very well across it, so I should probably wash that and that'll uh, that'll fix it. Sorry, you can just see my file transfers. I'll move that away.